Hello everyone, um, I hope you're well. Um, I've not really made a video in quite a long time, I think over a year. Um, I suppose I've been busy procrastinating, I guess. But hopefully I'm going to be making more videos and um, yeah, we'll, we'll see. So yeah, in this video I wanted to talk about um, extroverted intuition mainly and um, introverted thinking so for those that, that don't really understand the, how the functions work um, I'll just very briefly explain these two so um, INTP's dominant function is introverted thinking which is basically about um, analyzing information uh, data theories concepts and really sort of driving them into the ground um, and really kind of picking them apart and trying to understand them and um, our second function um, is called extroverted intuition which is NE which is all about um, picking up on ideas and um, possibilities so in, in situations and um, in ideas and things like that we, we, we're very good at or if people with NE uh, extroverted intuition are very good at picking up on all the different um, sort of roads that things have like um, like you could have a certain topic and then someone with extroverted intuition can immediately see all the different possibilities and how things connect and um, yeah so that's basically what any is it's to do with possibilities and um, kind of abstracting information or extrapolating information from um, other pieces of information and so yeah so generally in in social situations um, introverts especially or introverts because their dominant function is always introverted they can find it very difficult sometimes to um, to be social or to, to act how they perhaps would want to act in certain social situations. Um, extroverts don't tend to have this problem as much because they're being extroverts, their dominant function is an extroverted function. Um, so for introverts, what they have to do is they, they have to suppress their, their dominant function, their dominant introverted function, and try to use their, their second function um, which is an extroverted function. And so for, for INTPs, our second function, our extroverted function, is extroverted intuition. And so when we're in social situations, we, we have to suppress our introverted thinking. Um, I mean, I don't know about fellow INTPs here, but I think that I have a very strong um, introverted thinking. So I can find it extremely difficult to kind of get out of my own head, basically. Um, and so, yeah, so the, the best way, I think, to, to suppress our introverted thinking is to just kind of completely go with the flow. So, I mean, whenever we're in social situations, there's, there's lots of information around you know, our any our extroverted intuition kind of goes mental and starts picking up on all different ideas and goes off on different tangents and sees possibilities and things and what we have to do is we, we have to once we get these pieces of information we just have to kind of go along with it go with the flow and just talk about it or, or, or act upon it because the problem that we would tend to have or that I tend to have especially as an INTP is that once I start picking up on all this information from my extroverted intuition I, I then start to kind of analyze it one by one using um, my preferred function my dominant function introverted thinking and that's not really what we want to do because as soon as we start thinking about things we start overthinking it and then perhaps when we've decided that we actually want to I don't know talk about what it is that's on our mind the, the, you know usually the moments passed or the moments gone so the, the best thing for, for us to do I think to develop any extroverted intuition we're going to abbreviate it to any because yeah 
it's just easier. So the best way for us to, to develop our NE is to just go with the flow. So as soon as an idea comes into our head, instead of thinking about it, just, just go with it. You know, just try your hardest to not think about it. And that's basically probably the best way to kind of deal with it, really. Um, I mean, you know, sometimes in social situations, we if we feel like we're in control or if the, it's, it's a stimulating conversation or something, then our, you know, we don't tend to have any problems um, being extroverted and using our extroverted functions. But it's just quite a lot of the time um, we introverts find people very draining and especially we INTPs, we, we, we don't tend to want to, um, we don't tend to want to kind of interact with people at a very kind of base level. Um, you know, we don't really like general chit chat and small talk, so we tend to kind of just, I don't know, sort of metaphorically hide in a corner until, um, you know, something interesting comes along. But if we actually want to be social, we can actually make things interesting because, as I said, our NE is, is extremely interesting. You know, we're constantly picking up on so many ideas and tangents and, you know, someone could say something in a conversation and we'll immediately start thinking of so many different things that relate to that particular area or that particular conversation or situation and so what we need to do is we just need to act on it you know we need to act and not think basically just don't think just act and just completely go with the flow and I mean I've, I found that this has helped me um, be more extroverted and be more social in, in situations um, but, yeah, you know, as I said, we, we don't always have problems. Um, or certainly I don't always have problems talking to people or anything like that. It's just sometimes, or well, quite often, I suppose, it, it, could, it could be a bit draining. And I suppose you just kind of want to do things on your own terms, really. And when you're constantly in your own head um, with TI... Um, with your introverted thinking, you know, you just you just kind of want to, I don't know, not be there, and you want to have your own alone time. So, yeah. So for, for any INTPs who actually want to kind of improve this this area of them themselves and their lives, um, the best thing to do is just to try and suppress your your TI. You just have to do it somehow. Just don't think about things. Um, it's a lot easier said than done trust me but because we do have a tendency to just overthink things so yeah the trick is to just use your extroverted intuition um, how it's supposed to be used in, in um, social situations and just go with the flow just don't be afraid to say what you're thinking basically and don't be afraid to go with the flow and um, another good way to kind of um, help develop this is to, to hang around with people who are whose dominant function is extroverted intuition such as EN, ENFPs and ENTPs their dominant function is our second function which is any and um, so yeah I mean I'm quite lucky that where I work there's a guy there who is an ENFP and I get on really really well with him and um, I suppose I've learned so much just by kind of hanging out with him really and just watching how he deals with things because I, I know that his dominant function is NE so I just kind of need to watch how he does things and he's, he's very sort of spontaneous you know he picks up just like I do he picks up on all these different possibilities but he just tends to act on them really quickly um, and you know people find him very charming and very funny and things like that so that's what we need to learn to do basically if that's what we want we just have to go with the flow and so just don't think about things basically um, so yeah so if, if anyone's got any other kind of tips um, on how to develop our NE then um, do let me know because I'm quite interested in, uh, in learning but for now that's 
and it's not really a advice but it's just a few thoughts that I've had that seem to have been working for me but it's all a learning process because it's as I said it's much easier said than done but yeah the general gist of it is just don't think about things don't overthink just just do it just go with the flow um, so yeah I don't really know what else to say um, Um, yeah, so I'm gonna try and make some more videos soon. And um, oh yeah, thank you to all my new subscribers that have subscribed since I last made a video. I think I've actually had more subscribers in the time that I've not been making videos um, than during the time when I was making videos. So um, yeah, thank you, and I hope you can contribute somehow to this discussion. So um, yeah, feel free to leave a comment or whatever. So yeah, cheers.